that's what we're less than a week away from winter, which means it's time to jazz up your jaffle Woo! and level up the humble sandwich. Yeah, let's go now and see what they're doing in the kitchen. Jane DeGraff's there. Hey, Jane. Well, it is hard to go past the cheese jaffle, but today we've come up with some creative ideas, different ways to do jaffles. We've got some savoury, we've got some sweet options. Yep. What are we starting with, Jane? Handheld meal, meal options. I love jaffles. The first thing I want to say is you don't need a fancy jaffle press, just a really simple one from Kmart or any kind of big budget store. Does the trick. Does the trick every time. So I'm going to start with a Reuben style here, and I love this because it's instead of like a steak sandwich, it's a very full meal. Mm -hmm. So all you need is some nice rye bread, and into that you put your cured meats. Yep. I've got some beautiful um, rare roast beef there and then the essentials are sauerkraut and pickles and whatever sauces you like. Yes. Very I, traditional Reuben. Very traditional. Butter the outside of the bread though okay. because that's what makes it nice and crispy. So cut through that and we'll have a look at the inside. Oh look at that. Look at that. A full meal right there in your hand. Beautiful. Let's move on to the next one though. Okay this is fun. You've got the bacon on the outside. And this is what I was just saying. To make the outside crispy you want to do something either like butter it or in this case put the bacon on the outside. I love it. And then all you that. need is some pesto and cheese in the middle. And the main event is happening on the outside of the bread oh. here but the inside is beautiful and cheesy and like I said with that pesto in there it's a really decadent handful Ooh. of deliciousness and you've got pesto in here pesto cheese and bacon on the outside Yum. and that's all you need to do and the sandwich that? press will handle that just beautifully all right so we've got a little diff a bit of a different take on the burger jaffle yeah. burger jaffle burger <laughs> everybody loves a, you know a, just a cheeseburger kind of flavor right so what I've got here is my cooked burger mince mm -hmm. and all I've done is season that with some white pepper and some onions because that's already cooked once you put it in the jaffle maker you don't need to worry about anything except toasting your bread yeah. I'm using brioche bread here because it's a bit like a burger bun. The best part of this is it's already very buttery, so mm -hmm. you don't need to butter the outside. It will go beautiful and crispy already. And then inside I've got my mince, again pickles, which are essential, yes. and my cheese. Oh, and then what you have is all the flavours of a cheeseburger in there. Serve it with some burger sauce, some secret sauce, whatever you like. And that is, Love it. just tastes exactly like a burger, but it's all held together absolutely mm. beautifully. So nothing falling out. None oh of your God. burger ingredients falling out, right? Delicious. I love it. <laughs> okay, we're moving on to the sweet options now. Dessert. So Very this important. one's really simple. We've just got Nutella and marshmallows. S'mores, right? Everybody loves a s'mores. Again, I've used the brioche bread here because it's nice and sweet, which means mm -hmm. you don't have to do anything to it and you don't need to butter the outside because, like I said, it's already very buttery. You just add your Nutella, put your marshmallows in, pop it. Good luck with that. It's so <laughs> gooey. Pop it into the sandwich maker and look at this. You've oh. got your gooey, s'mozzy. <laughs> I <laughs> have that. such a sweet tooth at the moment. So Fantastic. I'm Get very into that one. For this I'm going to swap sides with you and mm. why. While you're doing that, I'm going to talk about the little apple mm. pie one we've got going, oh going on here. This trick is to use pastry in your jaffle maker. It mm. will cook absolutely beautifully and the filling for these is just some tinned apple, which is already nice and soft, mixed with some cinnamon. That is all you need to do. It's yeah. naturally quite sweet already so it doesn't need any sugar. And then when you toast it, what you get is these beautiful little handheld apple pies. And I'm just going to do this. I'll pop that on its plate with its friends. And are you ready? I'm going to pour custard oh, yes. all over the top of this. And that is the easiest dessert when you've got people wow. coming over. And it's so much fun. People can pick them up and have a bite or you can serve it in a bowl, sprinkle some cinnamon on top I and you're that. absolutely good to go. It's such a great idea. That's just such an easy hack. It's a great dessert. afternoon snack for the kids as well because it's quite healthy because there's no added sugar. There's just your apples and your cinnamon in there. Yeah. So great. Everything handheld. And it's really easy. Just wipe out the sandwich press or jaffle maker when you're done and you've got all these amazing options available. Such good options for kids, for adults and you know forget about the traditional for cheese me. sandwich. <laughs> I'm going for the s'mores. I'm going back for the burger. <laughs> back to you guys. So many options. Don't eat all those marshmallows. Just put some custard on it ladies. Okay. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I say that out loud. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> I'm gonna take another holiday. Hey there today fans. Sarah and What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?